What's up everybody? Today I have some lovely yellowfin tuna for my friends New England fishmongers. Um, so what we will do is a little tuna tartare. Now this is a very simple recipe that anyone can do. Um, all the ingredients you can probably find at your local grocery store or if you have an Asian market nearby, um, you can pick up a couple of the odds and ends, but um, it's super simple. So I'll uh, show you guys how to do this. First thing we're gonna do is uh, create the sauce for the tuna tartare. So that will be two tablespoons or so of low sodium soy sauce. As you can see, eyeball it always. About a tablespoon of sesame oil. Oh, it comes out quick. Um, I like rice vinegar, but I just discovered I ran out, so I'm gonna use a little um, white wine vinegar, just for a little acidity. About a tablespoon. And I just uh, lightly toasted some sesame seeds. All you do is you take a dry pan and just heat them up on like medium low heat till they get some color and uh, get a little fragrant. <coughs> Now this is optional, but I just like a little sprinkle of wasabi powder. Just for that little heat and that signature Japanese flavor. I'm gonna throw in some minced garlic. There's two cloves here. And some freshly grated ginger. About a, I don't know, a tablespoon of that. And that's it for the sauce. So we'll mix that all together. Get in there. There you go. Where's my whisk? Okay, here's my whisk. So that's our sauce. Just gonna mix it all up. I'll taste. Perfect. Okay, now we will get the tuna prepared here. This piece just has a little bit of skin on it, so we're gonna take that off. You can just hold it against your cutting board and slide your knife along the bottom. A little bit easier with a fillet knife. Not bad, with a tiny little piece of skin, but I'd say that's pretty good for using a giant chef's knife. Okay. So with this, I'm not gonna chop it up too much. I want it in about quarter inch um, little cubes if I can. So I'm gonna cut through the top. And you wanna keep this really cold. I've had it on ice as soon as you get it. So, let's see here. Let's see if we can get away with one more. See any little stringy sections, you can kind of pull those aside. Something like that, and just cut that out. But real simple, just quarter inch cubes. You want to have some nice texture and not be mush. And so we'll do that with all the tuna and add it to, right into our sauce. Almost forgot. I like to add a little bit of scallion in there too. So, scallions in there, out of the yellow fin. See about the size of the cuts there. We're just gonna mix that up and that can chill for a little bit. And you know what? We'll actually keep that in the fridge, so. Oh man, down. No. Oh, this will be good. So, that will go in the fridge for a sec. Okay, step two, I'm just gonna cut up some avocado. You want a nice ripe avocado. Let's see how this guy is. Oh, she's a beauty. So. There's plenty of ways to slice an avocado. I'm sure 
way is better than the way I do it. But I slice it all in its little skin here first. Cross hatch. See how we did there. Let's add that to our bowl. Now you want to be fairly gentle here. You don't want to make guacamole and mash it all up. It's okay if it gets a little smushed. So we'll mix it up in the end a little bit. I cut in half on that one. That was a little easier. And that'll slide up. So it's nice using a spoon for that. I'm just going to use one whole avocado here. And to this, we will add, go get in there. We'll add some lime juice. Little fresh cilantro. Save a little bit for garnish at the end there. And just a little flake salt. That's it. So we have our two different bowls here. We've got our avocado, salt, lime juice, and our yellowfin tartare. Here's the secret weapon here, a ring mold. So you can track one of those down. But now we're just gonna layer it. It's gonna look nice, it's gonna be really easy. So we'll do the avocado first. We just wanna make a, fill the ring here with just a even layer. Got our avocado layer in there, and we're just gonna gently scoop our yellowfin to the ring mold. Smells great. So like I said, this is really easy to do. You're, you're not cooking anything. It's all just more preparation. Mix some ingredients, okay, let's see. That's about all the ring mold can handle here. Top with a little bit of diagonally sliced scallion, a little cilantro. Okay, moment of truth, the final reveal. There we have it. Nice little appetizer, some tuna tartare. Um, you can serve this with wonton chips or some potato chips, tortilla chips, whatever it is. Um, but I hope you enjoy.